This is Twit. We had talked, uh, was it, it was two shows ago, I believe, about um, using, finding a way to take photos and, aha, you're using it, uh, finding yeah. a way to take photos and blur them without having to download a third-party app. Um, and there was, a com- there was someone who had created a way uh, where they had used their own Amazon uh, instance. Yeah, their, their, what the is it really called? The, yeah. And so they'd used their own little Amazon server dealy to, to do the processing of the photos in order to blur out the faces. And then the Signal app, the app that does private messaging, created a way for you to um, blur photos as well. Now there is an app that's out called Anonymous Food, Anonymous Camera, uh, that will it, it's free and then you can get the pro version for a dollar ninety nine which has some cool split screen features and you can turn off the um, the watermark but anonymous camera the cool thing about this is that it does the processing on device so you are not having to uh, you know worry about the photo being uploaded to some server somewhere it uses the technology that's built into your iPhone to do the uh, face tracking and blurring features. So as you can see here, I've got options for, if you're listening, um, it's just me showing the app on screen. I'm moving my face around and the app does a very good job of keeping the blur right there where it needs to be on my face. I can change it from a blur to a solid color if I'd like, or I can actually just show my face if I want to. And there are different options for um, doing just the head or doing the full body entirely. I can change the look of the solid. So we'll switch back and you can see that it's a uh, sort of white noise effect, um, a camera, st- I mean, television static effect. If I wanted to do video, I can actually distort the audio so that it sounds, you know, one of those anonymous voices. And then what I love is the option to turn off all metadata. Uh, Well, sorry, I should say important metadata. Uh, So that would be the location metadata and the timestamp metadata, which you can easily tap on the top to remove the location and remove the timestamp quite simply. And then the... Uh, other effect that they have is a split screen effect, which when I turn my camera to the side, I can then set up a split screen that shows, uh, say, I'm, I'm okay with showing my face, but the person who's with me does not want to. Watch what happens when I move my face to the other side of this line. Hmm, it immediately cool. starts to blur out my face. And so you yes. can take photos with other people and keep them anonymous if you were taking a selfie or something like that. It's a pretty cool app. And like I said, most of this is available for free. Uh, you can see that that split screen effect and turning off the watermark for the app are the two effects uh, that you would pay for. For a dollar ninety nine. essentially you're making a donation to the uh, maker of the app as a way to support them. Uh, Again, this uses on-device processing, which is very cool, uh, which means that you are not having to worry about these photos being uploaded to to some server somewhere and processed and potentially stored or cached. Uh, It stays right there on the device. So I see you downloaded the app too, Matthew. Um, What are your thoughts about it? Yeah, that's cool. Um, The full-body stuff does only work with the back-facing camera. I always forget which... The way they describe that is always a little bit weird. Um, but so you can't do like a selfie and have it block out your full face or your full body. Um, I didn't even realize it took video because it's one of those like tap and hold to take videos. So I thought it was just a camera thing. Um, but the watermark part is pretty cool. And it is clever. The timestamp thing they say in here, if you it sets the timestamp to January 1st, 1970, so that you can just tap to scroll to the top of your camera camera roll and then you'll find your footage there. So it's kind of like not just like has no metadata, but like a clever hack so that you can always find it at like the the furthest part of your camera roll. But that's pretty smart. Yeah, it seems good. I want more apps like this because there's always like just different specific ways that you might want to use it um, or like add it to your old footage or something like that. But we're, we'll probably see more and more of these over time. Uh, I think so. Um, I think that this was a very very clean, 
very well done yeah. um, first take on it. And at least for me, I don't, I don't, it's going to take a lot to sort of unseat this um, because it's so clear up front the, yeah. you know, privacy that goes into this and just the simplicity of here's, here's all the features that you need. And uh, it has them all right there so simply. So I really like it. Um, I think they, the maker of this app did a very good job for sure. 